with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my follow-up to my knee replacement video. Over the 4th of July weekend in 2017, about seven months ago, I had a total knee replacement and you may think, oh, she's too young to have a knee replacement. I thought that myself too. But unfortunately, as we get a little more grown up, our joints can wear out. My left knee did because I had rheumatoid arthritis at one point. Fortunately, that is now in remission and I feel great. But that knee always had problems and it got to where about every four months I was having to have it drained and injected. I know that sounds gross, but it was the reality there. And it also got to where I couldn't walk more than about a block without that knee swelling. So vacations were very difficult. Even walking around the block became impossible for me. Now, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you subscribe and click that little bell. That way you'll be notified of my future videos. And if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be helpful too. Okay, let's get down to this. I did want to do a follow-up on that video. The last time I did the video, I think I was maybe about a month out from the surgery, and I told you really how well it went, and it did. In fact, they called me the rock star because I seemed to heal very quickly at first. I didn't need a walker. I hardly used a cane. I went through the PT very well with a minimum of pain. But as often happens with me, I start out like a racehorse and then all of a sudden reality sets in and it's a little bit of a different story. And that's exactly what happened for me. At first, everything was just racing along in terms of the healing and then the reality set in and I did have some pain and discomfort. And I really wouldn't call it pain so much, but it was just that I was conscious of my knee at all times. I would feel just uncomfortable even as I was sitting there. And quite honestly, from the first month after the surgery until about two months ago, I really kind of regretted that I had done it. Because unlike some people who wait until they're totally in pain all the time before they have a knee replacement, I was just having problems when I would go walking and that kind of thing. And I was having problems going on vacation and my husband was kind of pushing me to do it because it was interfering with our life. I couldn't walk on a treadmill for instance, so I quit working out. But in terms of pain all the time, I did not have pain all the time. So after I got through the surgery and I started having kind of painful discomfort 24 seven, I thought, what did I do to myself? I really thought it was a mistake. And I'm telling you this because I wanted you to know that even with a very good outcome, which I will tell you now, I've had a great outcome. Even with that being said, it is kind of difficult to get through the knee replacement recovery. You just need to give yourself time. My surgeon told me that it can be up to a year after the surgery before you're able to kind of forget the knee and forget you had the surgery and just think of it as a normal knee. I am seven and a half months out from the surgery now, had the surgery about July 1 and it's mid-February now of 2000. 2018 and now I'm very very glad I had it. Just went on a vacation to Las Vegas for instance and we walked like crazy. Someone had one of those fit fit meters on their hand or whatever and we apparently walked about eight miles during that Las Vegas trip. Had a great time and I didn't even notice my knee at all. It's behaving totally like a normal knee. Now I'm even back on the treadmill. For about the past month I have been able to walk on the treadmill very easily for 30 minutes a day, 20 to 30 minutes. I've been doing other exercises again. I have really gotten back full mobility with that knee. My surgeon had told me that with my left knee that it was likely that I would never get the full flexion of that knee back to match the right. But that's really not true. I can now bend the left knee exactly as much as I can bend the right knee and I forget about it 99% of the time and I know in a year I'll totally forget about it. So I'm very grateful that I had the surgery. Now I will tell you one thing that I learned though. I'll show you a picture of my scar and it is not pretty, I have to admit. And that is the downside of the surgery for me. However, I wear pants most all of the time. I never wear dresses. I hardly ever wear shorts. So the scar is not that big a deal to me, but I did want to give you a piece of advice if you haven't had your surgery yet. I believe the reason that I have such a large scar is because the surgeon let the resident close up. And apparently this is very, very common. And I would warn you to not allow that to happen because before the surgery, the surgeon had told me, oh, it'll just be a hairline scar. It'll be no big deal. And then lo and behold, he let the resident close me up and I went to see the resident for my follow-up appointment about a month after the surgery. And I wasn't aware before I walked into that appointment that he had actually closed up my knee and made that incision. I, I asked him about the incision and he looked at it and he said, well, you can't expect me to be perfect. I'm still learning. And I thought, oh my, I really had thought the surgeon was going to do it. And yes, I expect him to be as perfect as possible. 
So I was not very happy about that, but I did want to tell you that so that you can ask your surgeon to make sure that the surgeon does the closing and not the resident. And I'm sorry for those residents that I'm depriving of the practice, but by God, don't practice on me or don't practice on you. And there was one other thing that I wanted to tell you in terms of the healing process, and this made a huge difference for me. And it's a very, very, very important part of the healing. Here's what I want to tell you. Maybe about three to four months after the surgery, I realized that I was walking around and I was saying very negative things to myself. I was saying, oh, my knee still hurts. It didn't hurt before. I probably made a mistake. Gosh, I wonder if it's ever not going to hurt anymore. I was totally focusing on the pain and totally bringing more of that stuff into my life, more of the negatives of the surgery and all of that. And I truly believe that what we think about comes about and certainly what we talk about has power. So I made myself change my mental mindset on that and change the words that I was saying to myself. The minute I would start to go negative and think, oh, what a mistake this was, I would stop thinking it. And I had a phrase that I would use and I would say, I have the healthy knees of a 16 year old. I have the healthy knees of a 16 year old. And I must have said that a thousand times because I tended to go negative a lot. And in my life, I do that. So I have to continually get into the habit of changing that to the positive. But I really think that that had a lot to do with my good outcome. And even if it didn't, it helped me feel better in the process. I would urge you to think positive thoughts about your recovery and to proclaim the outcome that you want. I have the healthy knees of a 16 year old. I have to say when I did the first video on the knee replacement surgery, I had several people that said they were considering getting a knee surgery and they were kind of scared about it, but that my video gave them the motivation they needed to get off the couch and get their knee fixed. And I was so happy to hear that because it really can improve your quality of life. It has certainly done that for me. I'm so happy to be able to walk and exercise and I feel like a much younger person again. And as my husband says, I no longer limp anymore because I wasn't even aware of it but over years of kind of having knee pain and certainly being tired at the end of the day, I would limp around a little bit and I don't do that anymore, which is good. Now, if you have any questions about the knee surgery or any comments that you would like to add, please leave them in the comment box below. But my main point in doing this is number one, to tell you to be positive and speak positive and speak good healing thoughts. And number two, to give yourself time because it will get better over time. And my surgeon told me early on that at the one month point, 99% of people were sad that they'd had the surgery. And at the one year point, 99% of people were happy they'd had the knee replacement. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I'll go ahead and use this Life Loves You card deck from Louise Hay. Let's see what God has in store for us today. Okay, here's a good one. I listen to the wisdom of my heart. I listen to the wisdom of my heart. Place your hand over your heart. Ask your heart what it wants you to know today. You know, this is a fantastic card because if you're considering getting a knee replacement, you know inside what the right answer is for you. And with regard to having a knee replacement surgery, I hope you'll talk to your doctor, do your research, but listen to that little voice within your heart that knows what's right for you. Take care. See you next time.